Welcome back to Night in the Woods with Rainbow Tastic and Samuel. How are you guys doing? Are you waiting for them to reply? Yes. Because they're not going to. I know. It's still to the yourself, polite, Chelsea. yeah. Ah! Dude. Ah! Dude. Ah! Yeah. Yeah, what now? Damn it. <laughs> Uh, oh, hey, Ray. No, we're not. I really should remember to lock that door when we record. The batteries are dead. Still nothing about a kid. Oh, maybe I did imagine the whole thing. Uh, there's no telling. I mean, we did find an arm on the sidewalk. That is very true. I poked it with a stick. Hey, B. Hey, Tiffna. Think I'm gonna burn this place down. Oh, cool. But also, maybe it might have consequences. We could take the insurance money and, like, not do this. What if you get caught? I saw a show where they caught someone doing that. You're going to burn this place down for me. Oh, cool. But also, maybe I'd go to jail? No, you have no motive. No one would suspect. So work's not going well? Uh... Okay, I'll actually do it. Please don't actually do it. Okay, fine. Did you want to check out the graveyard? Actually, yeah, let's do it. Cool. I have a tooth. It's my tooth. Foggy? Always got that evening fall fog. Collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know. Good spooky. I get really sad because it's not here year-round. Um. Um. Well, there's the statue. There's the janitor. Ooh, also spooky. I thought you were, like, actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but, like, whatever. So we wait here? Yeah. And a ghost shows up? This isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. That's the janitor. Yeah. Know any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Uh... Things are, like, monumentally screwed right now. And no one in power gives a shit. Or they're actively making it worse. Out of spite or profit. Whoa. Jeez. I meant, like, there's red glowy things. A skeleton or something. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. We'll have a spook off. I say something... And you make it spookier. I still see red glowy things. Alright. How about this? A skeleton outside your window. A regular stranger person outside your window. He's smiling. He's smiling. And he's from the bank. Oh, come on. He's here to tell you they're gonna take your house. This is just depressing. And he's a zombie. Okay, fine, that works. Zombie bank guy. All the things you're afraid of are boring. The scariest stuff, like, really, really boring. Oh my god, Beatrice. What were we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something. This is dumb. Let's go.
Maybe those are fireflies? Okay, so... I'm gonna go visit my mom. She's right down there. Mm. Oh, okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Totally, no problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? About your mom and all. It's okay. It happens. Cool, cool, cool. I'll check out some graves. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying when I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back at school. <coughs> it's like something I actually know about. Cool. I'll meet you back up here then. Let's check out a grave or three. Go up. Oh. Okay, I'm really confused about... I am too. Okay, the music's getting a little more. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> nope, I'm, I'm gonna let her have it. Sorry, folks, I'm, I'm not gonna talk to her. Normally bugs follow you. Yeah, these aren't. Hmm, standard headstone, nothing fancy. Clearly religious. 95 years, wow. When she was born, the most high-tech thing was horses. She had to, like, look out the window to see a horse. And now we have, like, pictures of horses on the internet. Any horse you can think of. She, she saw us from horses to internet horses. Decent run. Oh, dang. Lived, like, 14 years. Poor family. Okay, I'm just sad now. Ooh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess... He crashed his bike. Oh yeah, I bet it was like he was racing to a sweetie's house to beg her not to leave town. And he took a dangerous curve too fast and went flying off a cliff. And his last words whispered into the rain in midair were Actually, I love my bike more. Please put it in on my grave, okay? Jeez, B. How long does a mom visit take? TikTok, Beatrice, we got places to be. Holy crap. I am a jerk. Yeah. Okay, nothing this way. Yeah, that was a little insensitive, Tiffany. I don't like that statue. I don't like it either. That's because it looks like the janitor. <gasps> oh, fuck. Hello. Hey. Uh, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there. <laughs> Were you worried that... You know how we've been having sinkhole problems in town? Yeah. That's what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mom's buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill. So I was worried. Like, you're worried the ground's just gonna cave in? What part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard. They shouldn't make these where sinkholes are a problem. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood. And yet here we are. Okay, you ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill. And like, voices. Huh, that's, uh, spooky. Yeah, not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh yeah, sure. Thank God. Hmm. 
Um. Ho, oh, weary travelers. You seek answers among the dead. But they shall give you none. Who the hell are you? Mere messengers. Observers. Meddlers. Teens. They're weird teens. Oh. Alright, well. Where are the keepers of the gate? There's a literal gate you're sitting in front of. We govern who shall pass. And who shall remain. Alright, well. Answer us three questions. Truthfully. What? And you may pass into the realms of the dead. Okay, 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 fine, whatever. Get on with it. First question. Have you ever done it? You can just call it sex. <laughs> We're grown-ups here. Well, we are at least. Answer! I'm gonna say no. Never got around to it. And you? Yeah. What? When? Wait, what? Summer before 11th grade. Really? How did I not know this? This was when you weren't talking to me. Who? Who did this happen with? <laughs> uh, you don't know him. It was that math camp. Math camp? Really? What is math camp? You go and do, like, math stuff and camp stuff and apparently have lots of sex? It wasn't good. Top-notch math, though. <laughs> this is boring. Next question. Jeez, fine. Describe your dream date. What the crap? These are the stupidest questions. Yeah, don't you want to ask something, like, spooky at least? Dream date. Okay, fine. Uh, he'd be tall, dress cool, really smart, likes good music. And we go to the movies. Boring. You? Wrestling. Like, you're gonna wrestle or you're gonna, like, watch wrestling? Both. I could wrestle. <laughs> I don't care if it's a guy or a girl. But they'd have to be, like, grr. Because I don't even want to date someone who's not grr. So you're gonna wrestle this person. Yeah, they'd be super tough and cool. And we'd be all tired and dirty and bleeding. And they would be like, lay on the floor and tell each other secrets. That's actually really sweet. I guess. What do you want from me? Next question. <laughs> I like this so much. What is your most embarrassing experience? What? Just go with it. <gasps> Answer. One time I farted in front of the class. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. What were you expecting? Okay, that sucked. Now you go. Uh, oh god. One time in high school, I went to the prom with this guy Cole. Oh wow, I've been wanting this story for years. And it was awkward and I had to wear a dress. But I couldn't slow dance. And he was really nice and stuff, I guess. And I tried to kiss him, but somehow I screwed it up and drew blood. You bit him? How bad did you mess up this kiss? I have no idea, but he was bleeding a lot. So I like rushed him to the bathroom to get paper towels. <laughs> so I'm shoving these paper towels into his mouth. And I overdo it and he starts choking and like fighting back. <laughs> and I'm like... Chowing down on candy almonds. From where? I stole them from the tables and shoved them down my dress. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I just lost my headphones. I'm laughing. <laughs> so I'm like plowing through these almonds. And one gets caught in my throat. Poor Cole has, Cole has slumped against the bathroom wall. I try to give myself the Heimlich maneuver. And it works, but... But... I puke all over Cole. 
<laughs> Chicken cordon bleu. <laughs> this is amazing. I agree with you, weird teenager. This is amazing. I think we should be able to pass now. Right then, someone walks in and sees cold, dazed, and bleeding and choking, and me puking into the sink. So I pull all the paper towels out of Cole's mouth, <laughs> and for some reason, I think to flush them down the toilet, and that makes it oh overflow. So I grabbed Cole and pulled him out of the bathroom, both of us covered in puke and blood and toilet water. And he ran away and left. And he was my ride. How did you get home? That kid Josh who rode his tractor to prom. So we're slowly driving to my house. Car slowing down and honking. While I'm on the back crying my eyes out. Oh, That was seriously messed up. Tiffany, I... I... I have nightmares about it like once a week. I'm gonna have nightmares about it. <laughs> Can we pass now? Yeah, nobody's gonna top that. You have to come face to face with your lowest moment. You may pass unburdened. Unburdened? Yeah, for real. Okay, let us pass already. Power to pass was in your hands all along. What? What the effing hell? You may go. God damn it! Go to hell, teens. Ha ha ha. They're all laughing. I hate everything right now. Forget it. Let's go. Wait, no. Those are some weird freaking teenagers. I feel like I was one of those teenagers. Yeah. I feel like that's who we were in high school, Chelsea. Ah! I uh, see. Like, there you go again, dude. Yeah, and we were definitely those kind of teenagers. So, like, ghosts. Ghosts? Like, I don't know if I believe in them, but... Yeah. So, you know how you said you've been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, I don't super believe it's not just dreams. Because, obviously, it's dreams. Okay, that's certainly your take on it. But, like, did you ever see my mom? No. No. I mean, I can't really tell. And I don't think the ghosts were, like, people. Like, they're not sitting around being ghosts. It's more like echoes. Echoes of shit that happened and people that were here. Huh. Oh. Trust me, none of the places looked like super much fun. Your mom was rad as hell. Too rad to hang there. That's like, I appreciate you trying to turn this around. I'm doing my best, Beatrice. Alright, anyway. So the bad news is that we're locked out. By that big ass gate. Ugh. Why make a giant gate in a graveyard? To keep people like you out. And stop what you're probably gonna do. Hmm. Yeah, we'll never know for sure. Alright, well I'm not climbing it. Go do your thing. My thing? You're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and shit. Jeez, gotta do everything around here. It's your ghost. I'm just the driver. Fine. Hang out. I'll be back. Um. Oh, okay. One, two, three. Hmm. One, two, three. I don't think there's enough room for one, two, three. What are you trying to jump on? I gotta get over the gate. to find something to bash the gate in with. There's no way I'm going to leave B behind. Beatrice. 
Just learn to jump. Not with those scrawny legs, I guess. How do I break that gate open? Oh! Okay. Jump on that, and then that little stumpy tree thingy will probably break. Okay, maybe not. Freaking. Freaking. Piss. Oh, no. No. There you go. Uh, I sure hope nobody saw that. We're gonna get sued. I don't think anyone's back here. And it's getting late. Mm-hmm. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, see, I told you you're good at this. My back hurts. So what do we need to do? Uh, I'm gonna go find Little Joe's grave. <clears throat> and if he doesn't show up, I'm gonna knock on it until he does. You're not allowed to destroy anything, May. Okay, fine, whatever, let's go. Just destroyed a gate. Yeah, I just broke this gate open. <laughs> Joe Shade. Yeah, this is him. Ground here is all swampy. Ugh, gross. So, what do we do here? Um, I guess I'm just gonna look around for ghost? Don't make this a thing. It's not a thing. It's cool. Tiffany, I'm here for you right now. Sorry. You had a tone. Tone stowed. Thank you. Any ghost over there? No. B. You'd know. I'd say. Haha. <laughs> okay. Okay. I found some old stuff. What kind of old stuff? Graves? <laughs> wow. Alrighty. This grave is for a horse, I think? I don't think they ever buried horses in people graves. Imagine the big horse-sized coffin. Imagine. Um. Okay. <laughs> I was like, um. Are so you... I don't want to leave her behind, but. This is stupid. What were you expecting? Something. It's just stupid. He didn't pop out of the ground or anything. This is, is like me going ghost hunting. <laughs> is that what you were expecting to happen? This is stupid. I'm gonna smash this shit up. Oh, whoa, dude, hold up, no. Wakey, wakey, little Joe. Alright, but what am I going to smash it with? Okay, I was like, okay, or you cannot leave her again. I mean, or I could.
I don't understand. Yeah, I don't understand what I'm doing here either. <gasps> um. Oh, well. Um. Holy shit. What did you do? You were right. About what? I didn't tell you to do that. About the sinkholes. We're lucky it wasn't deeper. Wait. Is that? Yeah. That's a coffin. Oh, crap. So, we're gonna open it. Right? No. We're not going to open a coffin. With a rotting corpse in it. B. It's been a long time. He's not rotting anymore. We got more uh, Mr. Miranda situation going on here. Jeez, God, we are not doing this and we are leaving. Aren't you kind of curious, at least? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. You're doing it. I'm standing here. Oh, my God. My God, this is me and Ray. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll count to three. Okay. One. Two. Three. Okay, grab the light, Tiffany. Come on, Tiffany. Ho 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 awesome! That's adorable. So what? Foul play? Who knows? We're detectives. We're not. We're like criminal vandals. We're like grave robbers or something. Those two. We're a lot of things right now. Shh. What? So there's someone back there watching us. Oh, God. I don't know where they went. Just, like, out of the corner of my eye. Is it? I don't know, but we need to leave now. It could be the ghost. No, we're gone. Now. Okay, fine, geez. Oh, oh, fuck! It really is a ghost. Okay, so it's not the janitor like we were talking about during the break. Well, that was weird, huh? Weird? That was not weird. That was a crime. Did you see the ghost? He was there. How do you know the ghost is a dude? Okay, fine, but he was there. Tiffany, it was the groundskeeper or something. Investigating who was ruining his graveyard. How do you know the groundskeeper is a dude? <laughs> oh, shut up! Ah, I saw the effing ghost! We saw someone. There are other people in the graveyard, you know. Uh, whatever. We're leaving before the cops get here. Who cares? It's gonna be Hat Mall Cop. True. Okay. I was trying to figure out. Alright, guys. So that's all we're gonna do tonight. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye!